Hey guys, I've been on a big tool kick lately, so I wanted to do a video about what some of the more important household tools you're going to need. And I'm making these videos kind of at a beginner level because I know there's a good portion of my subs that are people who live in apartments or cities that just don't own tools because they've never had to fix things or take care of things. And these are important things to own because in the event you ever have to bug out or anything like that, you may go to an area where you may need to fix things. So these are important things to own. Even if you live in, you know, a, city, a big city or an apartment where you just can't do anything. So I wanted to point out a few easy things that are inexpensive and give you a lot of capabilities for projects around the home. Um, first and foremost, it's always good to have a nice hammer. This is an old vintage uh, East Wing that I got for free that someone gave to me. It's, uh, I think, 22, 24 ounces in there. It's a heavier hammer, which is uh, really important. I'm not a hammer geek, so I don't know my hammers as to what type it is or anything like that. But it's always good to have a smaller light hammer for small jobs, doing things like putting in little brad nails and hanging up molding and things like that, and a heavier hammer for actual kind of construction jobs. As you know, you get out there with one of those little teeny tiny hammers and you're trying to drive big nails with that, you're going to tire yourself out very, very quick. So it's good to have a heavy hammer to let that weight do the work. I know a lot of people get intimidated by the heavier hammer and go with those smaller ones, you know, the $5, you know, Walmart specials. But, you know, it's not always the best. It, it's good for household small things, but any kind of construction, you really want a full-sized hammer. That extra weight is really going to make the job easier on you, believe it or not. Of course, you're going to want a decent screwdriver set. Now, a lot of people tend to buy those multi-purpose all-in-one screwdrivers. Yes, they're great. I think I have a million of them, but nothing beats an individual screwdriver. For tough jobs, you don't have to worry about things stripping out. You don't have to worry about losing bits. It's really important to have a good screwdriver set. And don't be fooled. Those dollar store ones, the cheap department store ones, they'll get the job done. But you really, if you're going to abuse a screwdriver for your entire life, you want to spend a little extra money and get something better than, you know, these craftsmen here. The craftsmen used to be decent screwdrivers back in the day. But, uh... Now this one, oh, these are actually made in the USA. I've had these long enough. I think the Craftsman doesn't make most of this in the USA anymore. I think they've exported most of this stuff to China now. But you know, making sure you have a good quality product and not some uh, cheap Chinese-made garbage that's just going to bend or chip on you. So spend a little extra money, get yourself something good. It's okay if you have those 4-in-1 screwdriver bits or 52-in-1. Those are fine. They're great. They have their purpose. But when it comes down to it, if I'm going to be using the screwdriver for a big project because the power's out, I want a good one, not some little wiggly bit one. Wrecking bar. Probably one of the uh, most important tools you're going to have for any major construction project because you're going to have tear down. This is not only going to help remove screws but take things apart. Very, very handy tool. I use this around the house a lot. It's a very handy tool, and they're very inexpensive. You can get these for a couple dollars. You really don't have to spend a fortune on these things. You can buy the cheapo Harbor Freight. I think this is Harbor Freight. Um, you can buy the cheapo, and it'll last you a lifetime. They're really tough, and there's not much to them. And it's really, you know, it's really tough to break one of these. So, with that, really important. You never know what you're going to need it for. There's so many different things. And I've even used these as wood chisels, I've used them as pry bars, I've used them for demolition, you name it. Just can't go wrong. Next, tape measure. I'd be surprised how many people don't have a tape measure. Or the ones they do have are junky. Now you don't need to spend a lot on tape measure. I know there's people out there who buy very, very high-end, you know, $30, $40 uh, tape measures. Well, yeah, you're going to get better quality, you're going to get better accuracy out of them. But for average household use, 
the Cheapo Harbor Freight works just fine. And if you're a little on the slow side like me, pick yourself up one of these that has the individual markings so that when you are doing these, it actually has the listing. One eighth, one eighth, a quarter, three eighth, half inch, all that. So that way, you don't confuse yourself. Because God knows I get into a project sometimes and I have a brain fart and do not realize which little notch is which and get confused and screw up a project. So having something like this, very valuable, necessary. You know, even if it's just you're getting new furniture and you need to measure a doorway, it's a must-have thing. And like I said, getting one with the uh, measurements written on it is very useful because if you hand this to someone who has never used a tape measure, they can look at it and tell you what the measurement is without saying, oh, it's one past the big line, but not the big line, that second biggest line. <laughs> so you don't have to do that kind of interpretation. And you can have people help you who aren't as knowledgeable. Last, a good hacksaw. As you can see, this one has got some uh, pretty heavy use on that blade there. I've used it a lot around the house. It just seems like I'm constantly using this. I've got a couple different blades for it. And it seems like I'm always taking off the end of a nut or a bolt or something that's stripped out. It's, it's, it's a very handy tool to have and they're inexpensive. You can get them for less than $10. The blades, you can buy a big huge package of them that will last your whole life. Literally a, a $10 investment and you'll have everything you'll ever need. At least for a hacksaw. You know, bear in mind hacksaws are for cutting metal, not wood. You can get yourself, you know, a wood saw, but this is for, for metal. And you'd be surprised you will have a surprising amount of uses around the house or around the home when you uh, get into making projects. So there it is, guys. A few basic tools that you need. If you don't have any tools, these are great things to start out with to make sure you have. Hammers are must. I mean, these are all must-haves. You know, but make sure when you're buying, try to get good quality. You can skimp on some things, but some things you can't. It's important to learn the difference on what you can skimp on and what you can't skimp on. And uh, for example, you know, hacksaw. You know, you can buy the five dollar ones that work just as good as the fifteen dollar ones. You know, wrecking bar, same thing. So there it is, guys. Simple, easy tools for those guys who are city dwellers or apartment dwellers.